Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another session with Java with John. I'm John Rahon, the general manager, and thanks for joining me today. We have a very special guest today, Joe Diamore, who's our new director of the community board. And, and Joe, I can't thank you enough for being here, and congratulations. We're thrilled to have you on the board. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Great. Now, some of our community residents may not know you, but you've been here for how many years in the community? I moved here in April of 03. Okay. So I've been here 17 plus, a little over 17 years, I guess. That's, that works out. Yeah. that's terrific. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a retired attorney. I was an attorney in New Jersey working for a small company that um, um, a company out of here purchased. And then they brought me out here so I had to take the bar again in Arizona after a bunch of years not having taken the bar. So now I'm a, a licensed attorney in both New Jersey and Arizona. Retired status though, I don't practice anymore. But I maintain the retired status so I don't have to take the bar again if I ever want to uh, uh, take become an active lawyer again. Reinstate my, 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 legal, my legal license. Um, it was a financial, a commercial finance company. I did a lot of contract work, mergers and acquisitions. I was at both ends of the contracts, putting them together and then enforcing them. And I was involved in a lot of mergers, a lot of acquisitions until the company had some rough times and we started selling off assets so that I was part of the team selling off assets at that point. Um, when I was getting ready to retire, I told my wife, let's, let's look at some of the retirement communities and we went around every community in the East Valley, and we loved this community very much. At the time, one of our streets here was actually a creek with the model homes all around it, and it was gorgeous, and you could walk through all the model homes, and we wanted to build about four of them. We finally settled on one, and we must have done something right, because we're still in the same home, and even though we've up did a loop, a little updating, really didn't need much updating. I think we did it right when we built it, but we spiffed it up a little bit, a little more modernization here and there. And we're very happy to be here and love the community. Uh, since being here, I was active in many committees. I was, a, first of all, I became a unit captain within my first year of being here. Uh, then I went on to the election committee where I served that for uh, many years and actually chaired it for one year. And on the board, then I, then I was appointed to the board for about 10 months and ran for the board and got a three-year uh, position on the board from that election. And I was been liaison to the election committee, the, uh, um, well, before, before that, we set up a uh, appeals committee and I was the chair of that. And then we, had, when that ran its course, because the board felt it was no longer necessary, they just handled the appeals themselves. And we agreed and they did that. But I was, I was chair uh, liaison to the Rules and Regs Committee and, and various other committees, the Environmental Committee. Enjoyed that thoroughly. Uh, the time I was on the board was a little rough because we were going through, we had just gone through one major lawsuit on the RV parking in the community. And that worked out, in my opinion, extremely well. Uh, we, we revised our uh, CCNRs to make it solid that they could park RVs in the community for loading and unloading. The judge thought our rules were a little shaky on that. We spiffed them up to his satisfaction at that end of that case. But then the next big lawsuit, when I was on the board, was about the purchase of our amenities. And uh, unfortunately, they got us on a technicality the first time around when we did the uh, special assessment. So then we went ahead and, um, as permitted under the CCNRs, we borrowed the money. Had another special assessment soon after that and paid off the loan. So that, it was it was quite a time with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, emotion on both sides of the issue. But I think it's important to own your own amenities and control your own future. So that's that's been my experience. After I got off the board, I did nothing for a little while, I just relaxed. But then I got back involved with the uh, Ironwood Men's Golf Association. I've been on that board for several years, and for the last two years, I've been 
president of India. That's kind of my brief history here. Terrific, very impressive background. So you're a golfer. I'm a golfer. I used to play tennis, but uh, now I have a, a tendon problem in one of my legs, so I can't play tennis anymore. Uh, I tried pickleball once, but uh, I, that even bothered my tendon a bit. Because even though a lot of, if you're a good pickleball player, you just stay there and you just don't move much. I'm not a good pickleball player. So I'm always moving around way too much for my for the sake of my leg. We also were in card groups that used to play right here in this building. Uh, use the restaurant. Uh, not a lot, but often enough. Love going to the concerts, and uh, hopefully at some point we can get those going again. I'm a musician as well, so. What do you play? Piano, keyboards. So we have a band, we cycle, a bunch of us, three from this community and one from across the pond. And we've uh, performed, uh, we host the open mic nights at the Iron Oaks. And, uh, We've performed a couple of gigs outside of the community. Uh, that's, of course, I've taken a vaccine now with the virus, but uh, at some point I'd like to get back to that. Plus, my wife and I, she plays ukulele and sings way better than I do. <laughs> and so we've done open mics in, in various places and have a whole group of friends that we enjoy being with at the open mic nights at the different places, which is also on hold right now. That's great. That's good to hear. Um, so what prompted you, Joe, to apply for this position? Well, I, 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 was, I was asked if I were interested, and I think at this point with, with the virus and, and, and everything else slowing down and my tenure at Inga coming to an end, I thought, well, maybe it's time to get back into the community. It's a great community. Uh, having met the board members, I know some of them were ready for many years, and having met the rest, it's a great group of people to work with. And I'm really looking forward to it. You got to keep active. Good people should stay active in the community. We have kind of the strength of this community is our committees too. I mean, we have terrific people on those committees, and I hope since we have three open positions coming up in uh, this election, I hope some of them step up uh, and go for the uh, that would be off the board. Yes. Well, wonderful. And one last question for you. Sure. Um, we're thrilled to have you on the board, but tell us what might be some of your goals and objectives for the board. Well, one of the things I, which I mentioned early on was, and, and you guys are already taking steps in that direction, is really to see how energy efficient we can become, where we can expand. I know we use a lot of LED lights, maybe we can expand that. Uh, I already talked to Brian about that, and when we redo lighting at, at the, uh, some tennis courts, we'll do LED. Um, also, Xeriscape, whenever we're replacing plants or looking at redesigning any of the landscape, to look at what Xeriscape we can use. I, when I was promoting that, when I was on the board as a liaison to the Environmental Committee, people said, oh, cactus and this and that. I said, do yourself a favor and take a ride up Scottsdale Road past Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard, where it's pretty much undeveloped, at least it was then. And you'll see how beautiful that natural desert landscaping is. That's what you can you can do if it's done right. It's not just bare and ugly. It's beautiful if it's done right. So yeah, if we could go in energy efficient and then solar. I know it's tough these days to put solar on buildings because of the uh, lack of subsidies, or maybe there are not, there are no subsidies left anymore. But something that we looked into to see if we can do some solar paneling and create some energy efficiency that, that way and energy conservation that way. So that would be one of my, my main goals, I would say. That's fantastic. Well, I can't thank you enough for being here today. I, my pleasure. I certainly enjoy your enthusiasm and drive and look forward to working with you Same very here. closely over the next few years. Same here. Um, lastly, like I always wrap up the job with John sessions, this week in Stone and Barrel we have a few features uh, for the early bird special between two and five, we have mac and cheese with pulled pork with a little hint of spice in there. Absolutely delicious for $12, great comfort food. On Friday night, we have our shrimp platter special. Then on Saturday night, we also have prime rib, both the small cut and the large cut. I hope you join us in the stone and barrel. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, 
and social distance. Thanks for joining me. Bye.